What up doc, this is John Banner, and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about how to load your case image into Smile Virtual. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. This channel is all about the how-tos of dental marketing. And so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so there are a couple of teledentistry programs, software, whatever you wanna call it out there. Uh, the two big ones are Revenue Well. they have their own and there is small virtual. What's the difference? Well, it's how you communicate with your patients. Uh, Revenue Well has a program that basically you set up an appointment to do a consultation with the patient live one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And small virtual is basically when you basically do the reply whenever you have time to do it. So it doesn't interrupt your production time. <clears throat> um, now, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but the biggest, uh, the biggest reason, the biggest reason why you want to use Small Virtual is because, like I said, you can do it on your own time. It can be recorded and sent to the patient, and they can review it whenever they want. And it also allows a, a, a fail-safe, so in case a patient uh, misses their appointment or doesn't make the call, you don't lose that production time and you don't waste your money or your time. So, with that being said. This video is for, basically it's for doctors that already subscribe to this platform and uh, it's basically to teach you how to upload case images to the to the program because the support that they have, they just have a couple of videos but they don't talk about the requirements to load images up. So the max si file size that you can upload to this program uh, is one megabyte and they don't tell you that when you go down to the, the bottom here to upload your images right here <clears throat> and another kind of a downside is that if you don't like these images that you have loaded into or you want everything to be you know looking nice and square you can't uh, uninstall or I'm sorry take down these images you have to actually get a hold of support and have them remove the photos and it's hard because you can't label these pictures so it's hard to say like hey I want this photo taken down because it's like a, what the uh, you know how are you gonna describe what photos up there? there's no name on it so if you're listening, Small Virtual, all these case images need to have names on them so that you can organize them a little bit and you can take down the ones and uh, be able to name them. So, <clears throat> so if you want the perfect file size every single time, the 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 ratio that you want is one to one. That's a, a perfect square, and the pixel is going to be 700 by 700. Okay, and how do you make it? I'm going to show you. So you take your images from your camera whatever you're using a Mac or PC, in this case I'm using a Mac, and you want to go to uh, a website called Canva, canva.com. I You can use it for free, but it's limited, so I pay for the the, uh, the premium version, which allows me to resize images. So what you're going to have to do is, this was, I want to go ahead and click on this one, it opens up another page. This was a core whitening one that I did, but I might want to show it, okay? Um, you want to resize, as you can see, it's a rectangular image. If you want to resize it, which you can only do with the premium version, you go here and you change this. You can change it inches, millimeters, centimeters, go to pixels. Okay, and you want to change this to 700 by 700. And you want to create a resize. Okay, and that's what it's going to do for you. It's going to kind of mess up your image a little bit, but all you got to do is just basically move it around. All right, give this guy more lip equivalent to the top like that and there you go and that's all you got to do and then you download it and make sure that you down when you download it you download a PNG because the PNGs always look better uh, than a JPEG it just the resolution is much better and clear okay so let's go ahead and download that make sure it's 700 by 700 and it's PNG good all right now as that downloads let's go over to case images and I'll show you how to import those okay so you want to go to browse. This is the easy part. This is what you, you probably already know how to do. All right, you got to find it, and there it is. Okay. I've already uploaded it before, but I want to I want to walk you guys through this step, and I want to take it down. All right. What's going on here? Look at that. now. It might not upload. This is something new. It might not upload because it's already the same file. So what I'm going to have to do. If that happens, if you're uploading the same file, all you gotta do is just change the file name. 
So, let's see. You can change it to whatever you want. Just make sure that the file's different, okay? Go to Browse. Click on the file again. You just add a number and it'll change the file, okay? And there you go. It starts uploading 19. <coughs> Excuse me. 100%. What's going to happen is going to give you a little box, as you well already knew, and then the image pops up. All right, and that's how you get the good image. Now, depending on what kind of camera you use, the file image size is going to be different. So if you are wondering if the file is going to work for sure, before you try uploading it, what you do is, let me minimize this, right click. This is on a Mac now. I don't know, I don't know exactly how to do it, but you got to check the file size. So on a Mac, it's just you want to get the info and look at it from here and right here it is 848 kilobytes almost to one megabyte alright so you're under the, the requirement or the you don't exceed you're almost at the max for what you can upload and that's basically it alright if you have any questions um, ask them in the comment section below I'll answer them I do this all the time so uh, if you like the video share it with your friends uh, wherever you are on social media and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye